Sujay. And the, our team members, names are Sujay and Srika. Very good morning to one and all. Today, I am going to present you few of our presentation slides. And today we are going to present for the 36 hours hackathon is wireless power management using beam forming technology. So what's Let's get into it. Oh, wireless power. Why we require wireless power? Uh, all other electronic devices needs wireless power. So, even if the battery dies, we need power to make them run, right? Our mobile phones, our smartwatches, it may be everything. It should be power in order to run, in order to work. So, wireless power is Wireless power changes the way we charge our devices. Wireless power changes the way we use our devices. And it also reduces the use of electrical cables and wires when we are using. Uh, if you want to transfer power from one place to another place, we require a lot of wire and we require a lot of cables in order to transmit elements. And the third thing is, when we are using wireless power, we combine wireless power and IoT in order to get continuous stream of data. When IoT sensor is installed, it needs power in order to operate. So, if the battery dies, then our IoT sensor system will stop sending data. By this wireless power, we can continuously monitor data streams the sensors using IoT. Coming to the one of the most important way and one of the innovative way of transmitting power is inductive power. And we got few advantages on it and few disadvantages on it. By implementing the system, it, it is very easy. And the efficiency ranges are good, 60 to 80 percentage compared to in real life situations. And the disadvantages of this system by using inductive transfer is it has very low power transmission and it is not for, it is not ideal for bigger electronics. We cannot transmit that much more power when we are using inductive transfer. We thought to play an inductive transfer, uh, transfer uh, which we was like implemented. Uh, if you don't mind, I can do that for you. Make it full screen. Make sure that the net is connected so it goes. Yeah, so this was the setup which we made and we transmitted power by IOC. This was a project done in IADC, one of our profound innovation clubs in the School Engineering College. So, you get a clear overview how we transmitted power by the stream using inductive transfer. So, this was a comparison of how it was efficient when you are transmitting power by the stream for distances up to 50 to 30 centimeters. You can clearly get an overview how the bulb glows brighter when we come to the closer to the receiver sections. The secondary coil of this system is not powered with any electrical energy. It is just powered with the energy which is radiated by the first coil in the arm, which is placed in the arm. So you clearly notice the amount of power which we are using. And our second innovation by using this inductive power transfer is making a magic table which can charge all of your devices like laptops, mobile devices, smartwatches, even power plants using wireless power transfer. Wherever the table is, you can just pull it over devices and charge your devices. This is an implementation video where you can see the initial prototype of transmitting wireless power on all the table areas, getting the 
power equal to So this table is designed to get the maximum efficiency even in the peak loads by using resonant frequencies and quasi static resonance. So you can see the burning flows the same way in any corner of the table. So this was the electric power answer. It is very very much easier to implement. It is very good for low distance regions and low distance power transfers. But then how about long range distance wireless power transfer? So that's why we came up with this thing. This is called as microwave power transfer. We transmit microwave beads which transmits power from the one region to another region using ISM band of beads. The most important thing you should notice here is ISM band. It is industrial, scientific and medical band of frequencies which was highly safe and recognized by the government which are safe and used for the use of this is some service. And we also use beam forming. What is beam forming? Beam forming is a technique in antenna systems and radar systems where we can improve the gain and the directivity of the signal in an efficient way. And we also use beam sharing technologies. Beam sharing makes this possible to so see the beam everywhere we, we work in order to transmit power okay. even where even if you are moving on a road or in your home. So this was a long time of how we can implement wireless power transfer long distance range. So we will have the RF signal module done over there and to split it, it is given to the base shifters, it is amplified. Okay. So this is a class we have uh, we have gone on the HMS simulation, which was an EM wave simulation, and this was a, a, on the left side of the video image, it's a beam scaling technology where we change the phase of the signal to the particular array of antennas so that we can change the, we can scale the beam. So, this was an implementation of an ultrasonic beam forming. So, where we uh, technically implemented beam forming and beam series technologies using ultrasonics.